Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to rotate your tire on your vehicle. Okay. Okay guys, uh, these are my tools. Okay. If you, this is my impact wrench. If you guys don't have impact wrench, the tire wrench it's still okay to use when you tight or lose your tire in your vehicle. And also I have also a torque wrench. Okay. If you have a torque wrench, you just tight your tire 65 foot pounds. But if you don't have, you can just still use your tire wrench. Okay. Make it tight as low as much as you can. Okay. This is my front tire. I'm going to show you guys why I have to rotate my tire on my vehicle. Okay. Because most of the time, the front tire, this is the one carry more loads. Okay. When we are driving. You know why? Because when we are driving, we use the front tire for turning left or right, or when we do a parallel parking. Especially if you have a front wheel, front drive, a front wheel drive vehicle, most of the time, the front tire is more works, right? Especially winter time, it's very slippery and then keep on spinning your tire in the front. But my vehicle, it's all wheel drive but I still need to rotate okay this is my rear tire okay I'm going to show you what is the difference okay why do we need to rotate our tire at least once a year or twice a year so it's your choice but it's not hard guys to uh, rotate okay the tire in the front you have to switch that your tire on the back okay don't switch your tire on the front going to the right okay always rotate front going to the back so it's the same thing on the other side when you rotate the tire in the front will go to the rear tire okay I'm going to show you guys the measurement of the groove okay if how thick the groove on the rear tire and also in the front okay okay as you guys can see this is the front tire, okay? This is the front tire. I'm going to show you guys the measurement in the groove on my front tire, okay? This right here. I don't have the right measurement to use, so I just use a loony, okay? This is the head. And then I'm just gonna put line on it, okay? This is the front. You guys need to keep an eye. That is the front. Okay, as you can see that a fault line on the front tire. Okay, okay guys, that's the front tire. It's done. I put line. Now I'm going to the rear tire. Okay, this is the rear tire. Okay guys, now I'm in, I'm in the rear tire. Okay, I'm just setting this up. Okay, I just put plus light on it. This is the rear tire, okay? I'm just going to show you guys. I put plus light because it's too dark. Okay. You guys watch. And then this is the one that I marked in the front. Okay. Okay, that's the line in the front. Now I'm going to show you guys. On the rear tire, I'm just gonna go in the pro grove. It's the same thing on the front tire. Okay, just look what is the difference. Okay, there we go. See, look at that. How thick the rear tire. The bottom one. That is the line that I made in the front tire. Okay, the rear tire is the one on the top. Okay, I didn't change. Uh, I didn't rotate this tire. I think one year and six months. <laughs> I don't have to do it before. So now I, I notice when I check my tire in the front, it's like it's become thinner on the go. So when I check on my rear tire, it's thicker. So now I have to rotate. See, that's why I'm just gonna show you guys the difference. Okay, All right? The bottom one. Is the front tire the top one is the rear tire so as you can see this one is a 
way thicker. See the grooves here is uh, deeper. Okay, I'm gonna show you in the front. Okay, and this is the front. Okay, look at that. See that? Okay, because the front tire is the one that <laughs> have more work when we do our, our drivings, when we steer, turn left or right, when we do a parallel parking like that. Okay, this is the rear tire. You can see that. See? Oops. Back. You just put plus light on it. Okay. See? Look at the groove. Okay. It's zipper than the front one. That's my plus light that I put in here. It was too dark. See that? Now I have to uh, switch my rear tire going to the front. Okay? That's how you guys rotate. Don't rotate your tire on the left going to the right. Okay? It's the same thing in the front. So when you rotate, always rotate your tire on the rear tire, on the back. Okay? Okay. I will show you guys what I did. I put two jack stand in the front. And then, look at that. It's already hanging up. Okay. And then I put jack on the back. Okay. And then that is my impact wrench. Let me show you guys how to do it.
Yes, that's it, man. Okay. Now I change already. I rotate already. The tire on the front going to the back. That's how easy to do it, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, on the left side is done. Okay. Now we are going to do it again on the other side. So it's the same process, guys. Uh, we need uh, two. On this side, it's the same thing what we did on the other side. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, I'm already on the right side. I put Jack already here. Uh, it's good to go. It's the same thing. Like what we did on the other side, it's the same thing here. You guys are going to retire. Okay. That's it guys, it's done. All you have to do, I just bring it down and then tie all the tires and 65 foot pumps. Okay, okay guys, uh, this is the torque wrench. I put 65 foot pumps when it take Side, okay? okay guys uh, everything is done uh, I hope uh, this video will help you guys how to uh, rotate your tire on your vehicle okay uh, rotating tire guys uh, is really good too because uh, you're gonna save money for spending again for a pair of tire okay thank you guys for watching stay safe and God bless and don't forget guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you